Yo, what up, what up? Welcome back. I'm B Writer, co host, J Bell. And this is Final, Final Thoughts. Thoughts. Today's topic the consequences of gender roles. Let's check it out. Oh, how do we feel about switching up gender roles? Steve. Uh, <laughs> see, I'm from a different generation, so. Uh, what, the way I was raised, it was an unthinkable thing to do this back where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And as I've gotten older, it's still unacceptable to me. For me, it would go against everything that I was meant to be in terms of what I was taught mm -hmm. manhood was about. Mm -hmm. I, I can't have a woman taking care of me. That's what make a man a man. And so now you got young cats on the tape like up here. Yeah, I ain't got no problem staying home. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, a woman got to pay for my food. Oh, man, it's 50-50. It ain't 50-50. Right. It's 85-15. The woman get 85, you get 15. That's really the way it works. They, it, it requires a woman more money to dress, mm -hmm. yeah. to take care of herself, mm -hmm. to run the household. Mm -hmm. You're not really good at running the household. You don't know where the kids... You don't, you don't know when soccer practice is. <laughs> what a kid you is that? You, don't, you ain't <laughs> been to the last ETA meeting. You don't know nothing. You just ignorant. Kids, so who's the teacher again? That's right. You don't know nothing. <laughs> a woman knows virtually everything, everything. to yeah. really run that empire. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing what I do. I protect, provide, and profess. That's the three suppose. P's Absolutely. that a man show love. Mm -hmm. So if you're not providing for your woman, mm -hmm. you're not protecting her, mm -hmm. and you're not professing your love for her, what you doing? And Bullshit. until we start teaching this to the younger generation, they actually think that a girl supposed to pay for something. Right. There's cats that are with a woman, her career is on a whole nother level than his, she making money, he stays home. I don't think that that means he's emasculated, because I think even to your point, Steve, if y'all got a relationship where, listen, Sister's career is the top career. That doesn't mean you can't protect. Did he, that doesn't good. mean that. That doesn't mean that you can't show Did love. It means one? though. Did no, 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 no. Wait though. It means though. You got to be clear about what your role is. Yeah, I can understand this. Things that got a little, you know, off kilter. She making more money. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And you decide to stay at. You got to stay at the house for a time with the kids. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in me that's going to allow myself to sit here the entire time right. mm -hmm. while my girl go out and, and kill right. everything that's we right. eat. Talking and about. I'm sitting at the house babysitting. Right. But wait, Steve, what is more important than making sure your kids, your sons, your daughters are prepared for the world? And if it's a brother at the house who said, listen, she got this financial thing, but I'm about to prepare some soldiers in the house. It don't mean that he ain't sitting there doing nothing. Right. But we have said as men that babysitting it ain't babysitting. It's preparing our babies for the world no. in a way that <laughs> they need to be prepared. That, yeah, and yeah, sometimes that's cool. you got to create, you got to create cool a model. Your kids, it ain't, it ain't babysitting. But it's, but it's like this. Hell no, though, I yeah. can't show my sons, and I can't give my daughters the vision of a man sitting at the house while the woman is out getting that part, it. I can't that make part. my daughter think that's cool, and I damn sure can't make this boy think this is cool. So the family folds up and your ass was at the house when the family sank. What are we talking about here? Steve, mm. there are things that you can do around the house. Like what? <laughs> Motographs. <laughs> oh, <nigga>. Motographs <laughs> and break <laughs> some leaves <laughs> around here. So, <laughs> you've seen this uh, <laughs> floating around the, yeah. the internet for yeah. a while, you know, the spectrum, making its rounds. As it, as it usually does, <laughs> yeah. yeah. A whole lot of amening and, you know, hit it, hit it right nail on the head. Yeah, you know I that? saw a whole a whole lot of women amening it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the overwhelming, you know, majority of women yeah. I've seen, yeah. like, agree with uh, Steve Harvey's take on it. I don't know everybody on the panel... Yeah, yeah, I'm not familiar with everybody. Yeah, uh, but, but you know, they, they, I guess they had kind of a, a fair shakedown yeah, of everything. You know, I, I would say that. E, a, a, pretty much a, a, an even split or whatnot. I think y'all probably already know what side we on as far as like the whole <laughs> gender roles thing. I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of it. It's not that I 
dislike it. It's just like I'm over person. I'm over proponent of do what works for you. Yeah. Cause that's stupid that just, to not do yeah. what works for you. Right. <laughs> you know, I like do what do. do, do. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing more to say. Like do what works for you. If you if it, if gender roles isn't your thing, why are you trying to force it to work? Uh, you know what I've noticed? A lot of men have become modern in their way of thinking when it comes to gender roles, yeah. and a lot of uh, women. Pr- prefer to think in the manner of gender roles so uh steve said profess <coughs> provide and protect yeah. right three, three p's yeah and i think i don't have an issue with those you know what i'm saying and usually mm-hmm. that's kind of how it just falls you're like <coughs> okay if you're a man yeah. you're the stronger yeah. person more so. than likely the, the <laughs> The bigger person in some instances, yeah. it just happens to yeah. be like you want to be the protector. It just makes sense. Yeah. You know, uh, as far as like providing you, uh, like our homeboy Ray said, you could provide in multiple ways, yeah. not yeah. just financially, but we've been groomed to to <coughs> provide financially. financially. <laughs> so we yeah. already <laughs> in the mindset like, well, I'm going to pay the rent and, you know, I'm going right. to just do it yeah. and get it done. And profess uh, that one, I was just like, that's really a throwaway one to me. I get it, yeah. Just to like make it three P's. That's that's basically <laughs> what that exists for. It's there, it's there to make everything else look better. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be have. So what, what is that supposed to be like? Saying it's shouting to the world how much you care for this woman. Yeah, Confessing yeah. your love. And yeah, everybody knows I love you and all of that. Right, which. It's nice, you know, like, I don't, I don't really, I don't think any man would consider that as, like, fundamental Crazy. or foundational to their, to oh, them yeah, being yeah, a man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, nah. Yeah, so, that, that's, that's like a throwaway line to me, whatever, but, <laughs> but yeah, like, a lot of the stuff he said was, you know, like, like you said, it, it kind of just ends up happening that way. Yeah. Right? In a lot of cases, in some cases, it don't. But yeah, yeah. the way he was, the way he looked at <clears throat> the whole idea of a stay-at-home dad was just like, "What's your issue? <laughs> what is you know like? Why are you acting this way? Why, why does it just have to be yeah. like this for all right. eternity?" Right, right. And that's my problem with that. That's my problem with. Steve Harvey's rhetoric, I guess, in general. I don't ever really, really have a problem with Steve Harvey uh, personally. I think a lot of his, you know, advice is pretty good, you know, but uh, or at least decent. But I, my only thing is, like, when people push the gender roles thing, don't try to make it seem like this is the only standard for living. And if you for aren't being doing this, right, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you're not a man unless you're doing right. this. He literally said, he said, if, you, if you're not protecting, you're not providing, you're not professing, then what are you doing? Yeah. As if without those things, you are no longer a man. You're less than a man. Right. You know? And that's my issue with that. And that's part of why we're making this video is because it's kind of, the way I see it today one of the issues with men in dating and relationships is that we've coupled this idea of what being a man is to being a protector and a provider mm-hmm. and the question that's arising now that we're seeing come is what are you without those things yeah um Steve, uh, I'll guess those. <laughs> nah, <I'll laughs> come on. <laughs> you will come in looking like Cam Newton with a big ass hat. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Wait. Tight leather jeans. <laughs> boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> but nah, man, it, it just, you know, I guess you just less than a man. You still a boy, I guess. I mean, to hear him talk about it, it was like. He, he understood that this happens sometimes, that sometimes the woman is making more money and you yeah. stay at home. And he was like, well, you got to do something. 
because your kids can't see yeah, a man yeah. at home yeah. and think that this is okay. And I'm like, but <laughs> but it is okay. Right. Like y'all are making it work. Y'all are making yeah. it okay. You're raising your kids. You say babysitting, and I'm like, babysitting. Yeah, Drake. <laughs> Drake. Parenting, you mean? Uh, That's another thing. It's just like, uh, what? Why is it when men taking care of their children? Call, why is it? Why are you saying babysitting? Yeah. This is not another person's child. This is yours. Your you're child. parenting. Yes, you're babysitting. <laughs> like we already Ridiculous. like Ridiculous. Like have this image of men like not being good parents. Right. And this is only like exacerbating. And this is why like courts just defer to the mother in like custody yeah. battles. This is that kind of thinking. You yeah. know, well she is a woman, obviously she's a better parent. What? Oh how? Why? What if she's not? What if you were wrong? Yeah, <laughs> you know, Penny's mother on good times. <laughs> Not in my mind. Just Ooh. saying. Too soon? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I'm glad. To... And Iron Boy, I was like, no, no. What? I thought it was a joke. Yeah, I was a kid. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, it can't be this bad. Yeah, you did that. <sighs> You remember? I remember. I remember this like I seen it yesterday. <laughs> you probably did watch that video <laughs> on Hulu or something. No, it, it's 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 just really weird, you know, the idea how we like just disparage a man from staying home and being a father to to to, to his children. children, as if he that's not enough. You need to do more you as a man. Soft. Right. I think I think that comes off as right. you being too soft. You're not manly. You're not manly. You're not manly enough. Right. And it's, it, the man yeah. should be the leader. Yeah. Of the household. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just really really weird to me. And then I think Tank brought up like the things you can do at home as a man. You can mow the grass. You know. You can rake the leaves and stuff paint. like that. You can paint. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, technically, you could. <laughs> get and you, get you the grill. Yeah, get on, get, get on the grill. grill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When wifey come home, she got a steak waiting on her with some lobster she gonna tails. Have some meat <laughs> waiting for her. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Can't be Wagner's meat, boy. But yeah, it was 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 weird to me is that. They never really got into like specifics, like detail, like people. Like, what is ASAP Rocky? Like, what would he do Ooh. with Rihanna? Cause he a billionaire now, he right? He will never make as much money as Rihanna. <sighs> Ever. It's not gonna happen. She's literally a billionaire. So, mm. what? 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 If ASAP Rocky defined himself by being a provider, as a man, what would he do with that? Would he tell her, Rihanna, you gotta, you gotta shut these businesses down. You gotta, you gotta mm -hmm. stop doing music or something. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I have to be the provider. I gotta make the bread. Now that's that's the the little dick energy that. Right. That to me is what that that's is. Why. <laughs> because why. why are you helping destroy? Your, you know, Your empire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't get that. That doesn't make any sense. So you could seem more of yeah. a certain way in front of people. Like, so no, as long as your family unit works, what's the, is the issue? Right. If that works for them, yeah. let it, let it, let it work for them. Let it work for them. Maybe it works for them. Maybe it doesn't work for you. That's fine. But <clears throat> we brought up that video right yeah and there's another video that's kind of been making the rounds yeah that uh we thought kind of coincides with this one and i don't think a lot of people understand the connection between the two so we'll let y'all check out that second video and uh we'll tell you what we think it's literally she says i got a good job i make very very good money and she says, the only thing I need now is a man. 
it's like, yo, like, <laughs> it's like who wants you? Who wants you? You're you right. right. Like, once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. Ooh, and, and, shit. And what it is is these, because I, and this is the thing, I'm not blaming Ooh, the, the women. women are going to hate him for that shit. No. <laughs> no, see, the they thing are going to hate him for. Well, there you, there you have it. This This kind of way of thinking is a direct result of the Steve Harveys of the world, you know? Yeah. But you have people amening the first video. Yeah. And then them putting their nose up, shirking away from the second video. Don't. Everybody, every, nobody <laughs> likes to say, all, especially the women. The <laughs> women are, are trash in the second video. I don't see why. This, this, this is the world you want, right? Like you don't see how the first video's line of thought leads to the second video. Mm -hmm. You don't see that connection. It's not complete one to one, but it's damn sure a little Venn diagram like that. They definitely intersect with each other. So if a man defines himself by the three P's, protecting, providing, professing, then in a relationship or looking for a woman, if he can't satisfy those three things, why would he try to? Why, why would he attempt to with you? Mm. Why would he do that? Because it's less, it's really even less about you at this point. It's more about him. It's more about, I need to fulfill my role as a man. Right. I need to be able to be a man. And mm. if I can't do that with you, then I need to find somewhere I can. That's weak. Energy. Yeah. <laughs> That's some weak shit. Right. Not, <laughs> right. I don't think I don't think either none of us we don't agree with the second video. We're just telling you that this is what that train of thought leads to. Yeah. And y'all don't like the second video, but you damn sure like the first one. Yep. Yeah. You see the little prayer hands in the in the comments. <laughs> Amen, sis, and the little bird with a leaf. <laughs> a dove with a leaf. <laughs> Peace. Y'all just don't go overboard. Oh, why you just put an owl or some shit in there? Yeah. Like, all the and birds. It's crazy because he was like, you you know, a woman disqualifies herself as, I guess, a potential wife by right. having her shit together, yes. essentially. Yeah. Because it it makes it puts that man in a position to not be a man, and that's just right. Stupid to base it like you said those things off of that being what a man is defined, right? Because they have a lot of you know newsflash. There's a <laughs> lot of women out here that's making a lot of money, especially black women. True. They they graduate uh, they graduate more than us. Yeah, yeah. And yeah I think they start to make more than yeah, us too. That's 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 something I wanted to bring up as well, like the fact that. These ideas that Steve is uh, talking about, they were fine for his generation. Right. But we are living in a whole new society now. In the time that, that Steve is talking about, a man could go to work for eight hours, come home and pay for the mortgage, and his wife not, not do any side work or nothing like, not even see a check. He got it. I'm paying for the house, the car, groceries everything eight hours out of the day mm -hmm. you cannot do that in this society one person paying for a house today are you kidding me Ooh. with a family in it on one income yeah you had to live in rural montana <laughs> making thirty dollars an hour that's probably the only place you can't live in no city and do that then gas over four dollars oh, come on you, you, you're trying to have one car or two cars. <laughs> it's wild. Where you live at depends on your insurance rate. If you live in New Orleans, it's going to be. It's wild. <sighs> Through the roof. <Woo. laughs> and the next roof. Yeah. But, yeah, this, like, that, this idea existed for a time, and it worked for that time. Yeah. But it can't work here because, like, like you said, women are beginning to outperform men now. In, in work, yeah. there are more women going into the workforce than men. There are more women graduating from yeah. college with degrees than men. Actually, men are starting to drop off because more men are opting to uh, avoid higher higher education. 
we're not going to college as much anymore. And those numbers are on the downtrend. So more women are going to college, so you're going to see more women in higher paying yeah, jobs. Leadership roles it's, and it's stuff gonna like that. It's going to happen. Yeah. And I'm talking about soon, in the near future, in the next 10 years, this is what you're going to see. And it behooves us to change the way we date. Because more than likely, the man that you who, that you love or that you see across the bar or whatever that you meet on the street, you're probably going to make more money than him. <laughs> probably. So if you don't like, if y'all don't curtail this type of thinking, and sorry to say, what ladies, y'all gonna have to start dating down financially. I know that nobody, nobody want to hear that. <gasps> <gasps> Not me, <laughs> but it's sorry. This is the way that our society is trending right now, and this is what you, this is what we we have to deal with. This is where we are now. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't really like, I guess, calling it dating down, but I, I get, I movie. get, yeah. I get why it's said that way. Yeah, because yeah. you have this expectation and it's lower than your expectation. But yeah, I think, I think we got too many women that that try to date with finances being like number one, and they don't see anything else after that, like two, three. For you know the character yeah, of the man, yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know his drive and all that kind of stuff like that, because you know drive and potential character, all that kind of stuff can't pay bills. No, no, no. They used to count for something. They don't count for a damn thing nowadays. Right. They do. They'd be quick to tell. I'm not dating potential. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I ain't dating no man's potential. I'm dating the man and what he bring to the table. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Whatever, but. I noticed this big because we brought up education and it's like uh, correlated with higher incomes and stuff like that. I noticed that when women do get higher incomes, their mind changes. Their the way they handle men, mm -hmm. uh, period, Definitely. changes. Definitely. Especially while dating. Yeah. They, they adopt this uh, boss bitch mentality. And it become it, it comes off as very rude and disrespectful, but they don't think that because right. they yeah they they live in their <laughs> femininity. Um, yeah. you know, like, I got this. Yeah. I'm boss, bitch. I don't need a man and all that kind of stuff like yeah. that. All right, <laughs> okay, single hood gonna whip your ass. Fight back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. Like that. <laughs> it's gonna whip your ass if you think you're gonna just luck up and find a man that's making 130 or whatever yeah. that's six feet tall, straight teeth, all of that, yeah, muscle nice, bound nice shit. build, whatever build you like. It could be, you know, yeah, and he gotta be black. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> telling you it's, it's, okay it's, it's about to get rough it's about to All get right. rough like this is the future that is coming like, i'm talking to the ladies right now like this is the future that is coming y'all are about to start outperforming us this is what is this is what is happening even on a, a younger scale like little girls are outperforming little boys in the classroom right now boys are falling off of the mat this is coming so Things are going to have to change. The way our grandparents did it, we're not going to be able to do it that way. We're just not going to be able to do it. And do would you want to? You no. didn't, did, y'all don't they hear the know. stories they of don't. how <laughs> abusive men were at that time? Like, yeah. I get that that abuse is still a thing now, but yeah. that, it was insane back then. The, all of the second and third families outside of the house mm -hmm. and the secrets, the family secrets. It wasn't all the people just like rainbows and stuff. Yeah, that's so flowers the back then. Why we not stay married? Like, uh, well, your grandma <laughs> couldn't go nowhere. She couldn't work. Where was she gonna go? <laughs> Where was she gonna go? Who was she gonna do? Nothing. And she was black, right? Yes. You so think she... they was letting a, a a a nigga work? Nah. Come on, bro. Especially if you wasn't passing on blunt. 
So, <laughs> this is where we at. See, my, my final thoughts, I guess, is basically we gotta we gotta get over this little hump that we in right now because it's it's detrimental and talking to the men right now fellas we need to find a way to be men without this bullshit we need to stop letting other people other men and other uh, and women tell us what the hell a man is. Can't nobody tell you what you are but you. If you wanna, if you can't define yourself outside of these three P's, outside of these parameters, and you end up in a situation, which is likely, end up in a situation with a woman who doesn't need you, who does not require your protection or your provision, what are you going to do? Let's say you fall in love with somebody and she don't need your money. She don't need you. Are you man enough to let that shit go? A lot of us aren't. But fellas, we need to find a way to be men outside of protection, provision, and... What was the other suit? Profess. Profess. Well, we don't yeah. really believe that one anyway. But outside of that, we need to find a way to be men outside of this because this shit is going away. It's going away. And we have to be men without it. Without it. What you got? Uh, my final thoughts is uh, agreeing to what you say. We have to find a way to be men w without it. And it's like, well, for those guys who are still stuck in the 1950s, what are you holding on to? Especially if you like a 30 something year old guy, you know, you still trying to find your, you, you somebody, you know, your person. What are you holding on to? Like, what is this idea of masculinity that you just have to be in control? You have to have the most money and all that kind of stuff like that. Right. And it, it goes down to just, I guess, some, some cliche type stuff. Do you want, uh, a healthy loving relationship or do you just want a full bank account I guess you know mm -hmm. money because you can get you can get somebody that makes a, a good bit of money right both men and women you could but if you don't have any like foundation to that relationship no kind of substance to it what, what are y'all going to end up doing besides getting into a, a divorce and cost you the money that you was talking about to begin with? So, um, that's just a decision that we all going to have to make one day. Some won't, some will, but I know for me personally, I'd rather choose a loving, healthy, happy relationship, especially if I'm looking for longevity. The money going to come but your partner may not. Or the one that you have, you may sabotage, and I'm talking about the men, because she makes more money than you. You know how stupid that is? Yeah, people out here struggling. And I'm talking about, like, just on a, like a dating uh, <laughs> aspect of it. Like, struggling, lonely, Especially during the pandemic, all that kind of stuff. And you get somebody that's worth it, but you throw all these gender roles at them and sabotage the whole relationship. That's stupid to me. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's all I have on that, brothers. A lot of that is stupid. You know what I realized? Steve Harvey has like a, this cadence in the way that he talks that makes like what he says, like it feels more like truthful than it actually is in the way that because he's, he's a really good orator but he has this way this rhythm that he talks that's like <clears throat> it, li it's listen, like listen listen to me wisdom listen to me in a world where chickens <laughs> can't fly and ducks can who 
is the best bird. What? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's easy to pigeon. <laughs> 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 the, the rat with wings. That's the, the man bat. The man bat over there, clearly. <laughs> man bat, like who? <laughs> Stop. Uh, that's our show, y'all. Thanks for checking us out again. I'm your host, B Ryder. That's my co-host, J Bell. This has been Final Thoughts. <laughs>